Hello, my name is Siddharth Prabhu. My roll number is E19 CSE164 and I am a student of Bennett University. Today I will be presenting the video of my end semester internship. I was working in a company uh, called Probability Gaming and my mentor's name was Hema Shiva Rama Railu Palli Vela. The main topics I will be discussing in this presentation uh, will be about the company, the role of a game developer, typical development process in a game development company, projects I worked on and the tasks in particular uh, in which those I worked on those projects, tech stacks used, challenges faced uh, during the internship, the snapshots of the projects I worked on, time, timeline of the internship, the learnings I had at the internship and uh, time at the company. About the company. Probability Gaming is a decade-old truly software company uh, which is slowly gaining its foothold in the casino market. It has become industry's largest independent casino game provider for land-based online real money, social and skill-based games. By bringing together innovation, technology and creativity, this company is augmenting to become one of the fastest global-scale gaming suppliers. The role of a game developer. My role in this company was implementing certain functionalities using Pixie.js, a game development tools uh, for, and developing full-fledged slot and casual games for clients on the Unity game engine. And I also was uh, given the task of retesting and fixing bugs in production, reskinning new games uh, into new themes or languages and also create a typical development process in a uh, game development company has uh, four processes. Uh, first of which is creating a mock demo game. Yeah, the mock game generally has uh, the basic logic of the game and functionalities and it's shown to the client before creating the art. The second is backend integration. Uh, backend integration generally involves integrating the front end of the game with the backend, which is uh, responsible for storing, validating, and handling the game data sent by the front end. Co development this involves creating the UI and adding animations according to references given by the art team and working on the logic of the game. UI elements in sync. And last is testing and bug fixes. Before the game is uh, given to the client, uh, rounds of extensive testing is done on the game to find major bugs and solve them before they go live. Projects. The projects I worked on uh, during the four months of internship were these three. First is Terracotta Warriors. This is a Chinese team slot game uh, be, which is being created on Unity for land based EGMs in casinos. Uh, around the world for our clients from scratch including the logic, the art, the backend and uh, the math. Second is an African theme slot game. This game was created in Pixie and is both mode like a reskinning of our older games which had similar logic and bonus games. This code uh, was mainly uh, the company's core code on which we edited so that it uh, works for the African theme game. The last version was a dice game uh, of, of a famous game known as Crown and Anchor. This was more of a mock game with mock assets only to display the functionalities and the game logic of the game before the art was created. My task in each of these were like in Terracotta Warriors, my was to create the working logic of a slot game for you, uh, in Unity. As I have not created a game in Unity before, uh, the logic had to be created from scratch. Second was of integrating the front end with the back end of the game, which was created by one of my teammates. Last, uh, third was adding assets, animation, sound, UI, which was created by uh, the art team, and I had to do according to the difference. Last was integrating the game uh, with the land based EGM machines, which I am currently working on. Uh, in the African theme slot game, as I previously mentioned, it was of reskinning. So, my main work was implementing the new art given by the art team, adding newer styles of animation of the game by modifying the code, adding music, and at the end, testing the game to find major bugs uh, that were found in the game. Uh, in the dice game, my work was first of finding mock assets that suit our game theme and idea. 
then integrating the back end and front end and then implementing the core logic of the game after once the core logic of the game was completed i was i my job was adding additional functionalities as bet rebet undo bet uh, sound settings menu and uh, other important ones. the main two stick stacks i use during development were unity game engine and pixie Yes, uh, Unity Game Engine is a high quality game engine based on C Sharp. It is generally involved to create AAA games, mobile games, uh, augmented reality games. And it's created, uh, was used by the uh, company to uh, create EGMs for leading land based casinos. Uh, PixieJS, it's a JavaScript library that is used by a company to create HTML5 card and slot games for iGaming. <coughs> this is the preferred engine as it is way more optimized and lightweight and it is good for internet games which use the internet for loading the whole game. Challenges I faced during the period of internship was uh, initially I did not have any experience in JavaScript so creating a game using PixieJS was initially a little difficult. Second was I did not work in a professional game development cycle before so tracking the game assets and coordinating with the art team took time to be become used to. The third was I have used player Unity to create games such as platformer games, uh, FPS games. But creating a slot game on Unity uh, was a challenge. Uh, and uh, like another challenge I faced was I did not work with the backend while creating Unity games as it was more of personal projects rather than a company project. So this time I had to work on uh, integrating the backend with the frontend and I had to learn new concepts like Unity web requests uh, for integrating the backend and frontend. The project snapshots uh, are as follows. The first two snapshots uh, are of uh, the Terracotta Warrior team. These are currently the older assets which I have been using and these are uh, the bonus scenes of the slot games. The below the two images are the left side is the dice game I created using mock assets and the right side is the bonus game of the African themed slot game uh, which I created. The internship timeline for the last five months were uh, in the first month of January I worked on the Indian dice game. I was finding the assets and creating the working logic of the game. Uh, in the second month for the first half I was testing the game that I created, uh, the dice game uh, and uh, then uh, making the asset sheet for the African team slot game. By March uh, the third month I received those assets and I started working on the reskinning of the game uh, that would uh, by the assets given by the art team. The fourth month of April I started working on the logic of the Unity slot game uh, Terracotta Warriors. Uh, and I started integrating the front end of the game with the back end. The fifth month in the May, I start uh, I've started adding the new assets provided by the art team. And after that, I'll be start integrating the game to the EGM machines of the land business. The learnings uh, in this company uh, were many. I just learned a totally new stack for game development called BCJS, which will help me create optimized internet games if ever required. Uh, I also worked in a team and collaborated with various team members with involving the back end of the game and the art of the game. I uh, understood the workings of a slot game and the casino industry and how various aspects of the backstage work uh, which would not have been possible if I had not done that in this internship. I learned new features, uh, I learned new features of Unity like Unity Sprite Resolver, libraries. Uh, implementing skeleton animations and spine animations. I also uh, has previously better uh, learned how to integrate backend with frontend using with Unity Web Request. My time at the company, uh, the last few months I have spent in the company has been wonderful, both work-wise and uh, uh, like fun time. The seniors at the company have been super helpful. Uh, they have allowed me the creative freedom to do whatever I can do and also have helped me when I have faced some roadblocks during the journey. Uh, also it's not all been work but so it's where there have been parties, activities and I have met friends who have made the, joy, uh, the job period very playful and like fun.